Right, okay. Uh, yes, 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 folks. Um, an unexpected vlog. Um, hope everybody's had a really good Christmas. Uh, sadly, it wasn't a great one in my house. Uh, what with my mum passing away just before Christmas. So, we've come out just to uh, blow the cobwebs away and just have a break from it all before we get stuck into clearing the house. So, let's give her a... Um, a whiz through this fair. Today we're down in um, the Avon Valley Adventure and Wildlife Park which is uh, in Keensham uh, just outside of Bristol. Uh, your postcode for that one is uh, BS311TP. It's a Charles Porter's fair. This one's on until the uh, 2nd of January but uh, it's so quiet today I think they're having second thoughts about this. Well, you've got ice skating down here. We've also got a bar. It's uh, it's in quite a nice marquee as well. So see, nobody's getting drunk so far. It's dead. <laughs> right, okay. Let's um, take her outside then and we'll go and have a look at this fair. Hear you calling, oh baby, please. I can't get that eye up. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to squeeze my nuts if you want to. If you want me to start singing that that eye. <laughs> Toilets on site. I think there's about three of these horrible portaloos. Grounds a little bit, um, yeah. So make sure you've got some decent footwear. Um, the actual fair itself is um, on what they call this decking. Now we've had some rain today and I found it a little bit slippy, so just bear in mind what you're wearing with your uh, footwear. Oh, teacups. Bear with me just a moment, folks, while we get set up. Join us now for the next one. Join us now for the next one on the number one balloon ride. Right, okay, let's go wandering then. I'm not sure who the uh, juvie belongs to. Have we got any hot dogs down here or not? Right, okay. Possibly if you want some hot food folks, you might have to go into that marquee that we've just come out of. Ice buggies. Not in action today. But actually the juvies uh, don't seem to be uh, doing all that well today. None of, none of these uh, have opened. Don't know why. Why well, the rest of the fair is open. Mind you, nobody's going on anything. Riders must remain seated at all times. Do not get on or off whilst the ride is in while the ride is moving. Yeah, I did that with a woman once. I tried getting off and uh, yeah, it didn't end up too well. <laughs> I think they call it the booking bronco position. You take her from the back and you get well aboard 
And when you're well aboard, you say you're not as good as your sister. And then you hang on bloody hard. Now this is unusual, I've uh, not seen one of these at a fair before. Toasted Marshmallow Hut. Now, I, you're probably going to find that there's more people stood around this because it's freezing cold rather than toasting their marshmallows. It's quite a nice little fire actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. I can uh, feel my uh, little fingers warming up nicely here. I could watch that all night, you know. You can't get these on uh, YouTube. They go on for hours, you just look in flames. I do it when I'm in bed, I listen to rain sounds, it helps me relax. You have got a, um, a drink store down here, the Coffee Hut. So you got your chocolates, waffles, crepes. We're not going to be taking the mickey out of the onions tonight because they haven't got any, unfortunately. Not quite sure what that is. Uh, just some sort of powdery, sugary stuff. So I don't know if they're doing donuts down here because we have got like an oil thing just there. Oh, certainly not for chips anyway. Right, let's keep it going. You watch that uh, fire spit at me in a minute. Right, your candy floss, popcorn. We accept card, contact, less payment. Well, that's not any use for, uh, for a while by the look of it. There you go, the whale should be all right. They sell taffy apples. You all right, Brian? <laughs> He's going to hit me now. <laughs> oh, yeah, a couple of uh, shout-outs while we're here. Uh, give a shout-out to Isaac and Sarah Trainer. Oscar. How you doing, Oscar? My mate, I spoke to you earlier on on the phone. Oh yeah, um... When you come down to this fair, it is a token fair. Uh, one token for a pound, ten... Well, you might as well buy them in ones. Ten tokens for a tenner, or twenty for twenty. <laughs> so... So buy your tokens here. So yeah, you're not gonna get any discount by um, buying in bulk. There's your rides list. Let's just get you down and you can uh, have a look at that. Right, okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, that soldier's feeling a bit horny. Walking in a winter wonderland. Oh, I haven't done my old trick, have I? I've got to spin the teacups. 
We've gone out the onions, we've gone out the, we've gone out the teacups. Here we go. A little bit played, aren't they? But never mind, he's spinning well. Where's the sign that says don't spin the cars? I had that last time. Yep, all right, we'll leave that one be. Funhouse time. Jungle fever. This one's owned by Alan Hill. I'll have to bring you right back so you can get a good look at that one. Uh, Jungle Fever, uh, Alan Hill, uh, was built by uh, Walter Murphy in uh, 2001. Before Alan had it, it was originally owned by uh, Tim Booth. Had a nice little chat with Alan earlier. Your bungees, Spider-Man bungee. Not that you can really pick it out all that well in this light. Did try and get down here a lot earlier than this, but we got stuck on the motorway, so. Charles Porter Fun First would like to wish all our customers a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. We're walking in the air. Right, you got a uh, set of dodgems here, the um, number two set. Uh, that's owned by the Rogers family. Uh, built by Supercar, a uh, British company, um, 1979. My old mate, uh, my old mate, my mate Charles Deakin used to own these. That was a while back. I know Charles has got his dodgums down at the uh, Winter Wonderland. It's um, Elliot Deakins uh, down in uh, Exeter for the Winter Wonderland down there. Look, the duck. Let's just go and have a look at one of the Dodgem cars for you. Left hand drive on these. See, this is the good thing about uh, knowing the show. We're not in clamber all over everything, and uh, <laughs> I get away with it. <laughs> right, Star Flyer. Charles James Farrell. 
This was uh, at the fun fair at Donington. We did a vlog on that one down for the uh, bonfire somewhere in the uh, second or third week in November. It's built by AK Rides, uh, the Slovakia 2014. Usual safety notice, no smoking dope on here. No, I haven't seen much of this around just lately. So yeah, nice to see that. I'm not sure what my mum passed away with, going by the death certificate, it looked like some sort of chest infection, but what, nobody really wanted to say, they certainly didn't mention the C word, but when I went back to pick the belongings up, there was definitely C in there. Right, the Sizzler Twist, Charles Porter. Uh, manufactured by PWS in 2012. Before Charles had that one, that was owned by Shane Rowland. Bit of a shame really with all this uh, lighting because they've actually decked it out quite nicely with the uh, fake fir tree and um, baubles and stuff but you really can't pick it out but standing where I'm standing it, it yeah made a nice pretty job of that. Lucky dips. Chuck a few darts. Win me if you lose. Oh dear, we, you keep your rainbow colour. Miami time. Go big or go home. No limits. Charles Porter. This one's done by uh, Eagle GT Fabrications. It's quite a new one, this one. 2021. No, I don't know how we're going to get on for POV in this fair because it's just so quiet. Such a shame. Okay, the weather was dirty, horrible. I think I had my wipers on all the way down the M5. But it's dry now and the wind's dropped out. Right, and finally we're coming around to the, um, the Walsa. John Jennings Jr.
Do not ride if you're a fuck git like me. Do not lift your skirts up until the ride is completely stopped. Then you can do whatever you like with your skirt. So, John Jennings Walser, and this one has got some really steep hills on it. It's a Maxwell Walser. Went on this last year, down in Swindon. That was when I was with uh, Andy from Coast to Crazy. This started off life in Barry Island and uh, it was manufactured in 1979. It's not the prettiest to look at but it does ride extremely well. They don't have to be pretty. I always say with these fair trade rides they all look the same. Give me a Maxwell any day. But I must admit, I do like my old arcs. So really, that just about covers it for... Um, Keenshum. There is uh, one other thing that we haven't covered. Uh, well, I didn't show the ice rink. But there is ice skating here. But there is also a trail where... Um, you can go through, uh, I'm not sure if it's woodland or not, but um, they've got loads of illuminations and you follow the path around. It looks quite a reasonable size. So that leaves me just to say, can I wish you all a very happy and uh, peaceful new year? Won't be peaceful in my house, I've no doubt. There'll be a few ciders flowing. But if you think I'm staying up till midnight, forget it. I'll probably be in bed by 10. I'm getting old. <laughs> so, subscribe to Funfair Audits. Um, we might even cram another fair in, you know, before the uh, end of the uh, Christmas season. I wouldn't mind going down to uh, Exeter. I think that's on until the, um, the 8th. But we'll see how we get on. I've got a lot to do with uh, clearing my mum's house out. So, we'll take it from there. So... Happy New Year everybody and we'll see you when we see ya!